All right, guys, so I'm standing here with Miss Nadine. We're at this old house, and me and her together were doing a little searching, and we just come across a 1904 Barber dime. So it's a really cool find. It was hitting real low, but um, we pulled it out, and I seen the back, and I knew we had something good. So there it is, and I'm going to give it to Miss Nadine. She's going to hang on to it. All right, guys, I'm at a house. I just got permission. It's old, it's abandoned. The guy actually lives behind it in another small house. The house he lives in was built in the 40s. This one's gotta be early 1900s. I also got permission to do this lot up beside it. Um, he said there used to be a big, huge mansion type house on it too that was tore down. So down here at the road, I got a, um, it was a uh, 1243, which is a little bit low for silver, but I do still see a silver coin here, guys. So I don't know what it is. Um, let's see if we can take a look at it. It's, You know, I don't know. I don't want to rub it. Um, it's really worn thin. That's the reason it was such a low number. It could be old. It could be, you know, barber. could be seated. It could be just a murk. I, I really don't know. But um, I'll do some cleaning on it um, and put it at the end of this little clip here. So that's the first silver of today. So we'll be back in a few. Guys, out on a lunch break, hunt with Tommy. We got permission to hunt these two old houses. Um, got a target. It sounded like it could be a wheat. The numbers are all over the place, but occasionally I can get them pretty consistent. So we're going to dig it live just in case something else pops out that we weren't expecting. Um, occasionally it's got a little bit of a squeal to it. So. Sounds like there could be some trash in there masking it. It's gonna be a wheat pennies, guys. Um, it's pretty flat, so I probably won't get a date here. But uh, I will check it out when I get home, though. All right, guys, we're out here with Tommy, and uh, I just got a pretty deep target, and uh, I see one dime on it. I don't have a clue what it is, though. Until I clean it up, I'm probably gonna have to do some cleaning on it before I can tell for sure what it is. It looks like it is a barber, though. I think I can see a head a little bit. But uh. I'll clean it up later and get a date, but that's a that's definitely a, a good deal. I've been looking for a good clean barber for a while now, and this one looks like it's gonna have some detail. So we'll be back with you guys in a few. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm out here with Tommy with this old house, and he's called me over. He's got something in the hole. Said it sounded like trash, but he could hear something in there. It sounded like it could be a coin, so I'm gonna take this off so you can see it. Looks like her head. I think we may have a barber here. You see oh, yeah, definitely. A 19 0. Either a three or a nine, but that's definitely gonna be a barber dime. So this second barber that's paid off here at this spot. So we're hoping to get some more old coins. Pretty deep. Ring up like garbage. Good job, man. Nice find. Thanks. Awesome. All right, we'll be back with you guys in a few. 